Hey y'all, out here at uh, Hudson's Rod and Customs, and uh, you know, I spent a lot of time on the road and the uh, Mustang takes a beating, and I curbed a rim the other day, and I called Willie and said, hey, is there anything we can do? It's not a, it's not gonna fix it perfect, but he feels like he can make it look a lot better for me, so that's what I'm out here. I thought it'd be interesting for y'all to see if you end up curbing a rim, this is kind of a quick fix for it. So anyways, let me get Will run down and we'll take a look and see how he did it. What do you think, Will? Looks like that uh, curb got you, Scotty. It reached out and bit me. Yeah, I think we can fix that. It won't be a permanent fix, but we can make it look a little bit better. We'll knock off some of them rough edges and touch it up and try to get it to blend in a little bit better if you want to. Right. Well, I guess we're lucky that it's black because we can get it smooth, put some paint on it, and hopefully we won't be able to see it as bad. Yeah, black will hide a lot, and it's it's one of the easier colors to match up with right now on a, on a wheel. Cool. Well, we'll get started then. What, uh, what grit are you using there? That's just 180, knock off all the rough edges. Right. And then we'll go back in, just kind of smooth it up a little bit, get some shake back to it. And we'll touch it up and see what we got. Right. We just wrapped it around a paint stick. Yeah, around paint stick, give you a flat edge. I got you. Kind of, see how it kind of knocks it down right, right there and right. gives some of the high off. Yeah, because really that's all we're trying to do is just get it back. Just where it ain't snagging. Smooth, right, snagging. You want a rag over it or something, it ain't pulling all the fabric off of your rag. Just a little rubbing compound, get off a few of the fine scratches where it, where it got up against the curb. So ones we hopefully like, don't have to sand out, you know. Right, yeah, you're saying you're using that like a real fine sandpaper then. Yeah, it just had like like scuff marks and I got you. Like right there, and this should No, it's looking better already. Take care of it. As far as having to put paint over that, because that's just a like a scratch in the paint, we can rub it out. Right on. Put a little color on it now. Yeah, it's time. We're gonna see if we can get this to just match in. We'll probably have to do it a couple of times to get it to match the black on the wheel where it's gonna soak up a little bit, but We'll try to make it disappear best we can. Like I said, it's looking better already. It's not a perfect fix. It's just a temporary fix. It well, ain't... it'll make it. A, it'll make it a ten foot deal where, like, you could see it from across the parking lot before, but now you'd have to get close and really be looking for it to see it. Yeah, and at a hundred down the interstate, Scotty, they're never, never gonna notice. see it anyway. That's what I'm saying. It looks pretty good right now, though. One more coat, I don't think you'll see it. One You're not gonna build up enough paint to hide it. I don't no, think. no, one more coat, and it'll just smooth out and take care of all your edges. Yeah, that is really nice. I mean, it's you're right. It's not the rim's not new, but it sure looks a lot better than when I pulled in here. Thank you, Will. No problem. So there you go from Hudson's Ride and Customs. Big shout out to Will Hudson, brother. I appreciate it so much. Not just for helping me out on the wheel, but helping people out on the internet, show them how they can make a quick fix and make it look a whole lot better than having a big nick in your wheel. Hope you all have enjoyed it. Hope it works out for you. Stay down. Stay away from them curbs. They bite. See ya.